An air and sea search is continuing for possible survivors of the Edmund Fitzgerald, a 729-foot ore carrier, which apparently broke apart and sunk last night on Lake Superior. The ship and its 29-man crew vanished in a storm with 80-mile-an-hour winds and wave heights up to 25 feet. All that has been found is an oil slick and some debris. <laughs> Vegetables are from the Chippewan down at the big lake they call Get Sugar Man. The lake it is there never gives up for dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With the load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund and the Fitzgerald weighed empty. A big ship and true was a bunger bitch when the gales of November gave her land. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big breeders go, it was bigger than most, with a growing good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left for the When the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind in the wild made a tattle till sun And a wave broke over the river And every man knew as the captain did too was the witch of no
a musty old hall in Detroit They prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral The church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times For each man on the earth and the Fitzgerald The legend lives on from the temple wall Down at the big lake they call it Sugar Bay Superior, they say, never gives up Redeemer in the gales of northern 